boat we're going to ride. But look at all the duckies. They're all swimming. Swimming. Look at all the duckies. That's a lot of duckies. They're swimming all around. Hurry up before it goes in the water, Justin. I know, you probably figured out Bunny Boy's name. So yeah, there's the duckies, and there's the boat we're gonna What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and go down that dock, walk down the dock, and then we get on the boat. It's that simple. No, they make you go to the top. If you go, your first, yeah, they no, do. you can choose where you can. Whatever. Okay. And I'm going to UW Stevens Point for Look at the months. beautiful rocks and on the upper dial. And we're going to our captain and let him introduce himself. Well, hello, everyone. This is your captain, Mark. I'd like to welcome you aboard the Red Cloud today. Looks like we have a nice day for a boat chore. Just a little about myself. Look at all the pretty beauty. Here on the Upper Dells the past six years, made about 600 trips up and down the river, so hopefully that will put your minds at ease. But I'm not working as a boat pilot. I'm a special education teacher at the high school level. Also the varsity girls basketball at Hillsboro High School, 40 miles northwest of the Dells. Well, there are some things to keep in mind while on the river today. First of all, we'd ask that you stay in your seats for the most part. If you want to stand up and get a quick glimpse of something or take a picture, that's fine. But it is best to stay in the seat as this boat will run rock and sway a little bit as we go up and down the river. We'd also ask that you please don't smoke while aboard the boat. We'll have those two docking areas available to light up. And we'd like to do our part in keeping the river clean. So if you have any trash today, please deposit that trash in the trash receptacle at the back of the boat. We thank you for that. We're traveling on the Wisconsin River, which has its origin on the northern Wisconsin-Michigan border. It travels 430 miles diagonally across the state, where it empties into the Mississippi River near Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin. It's known as one of the hardest working rivers in the world for its size, having 27 dams along its path, 13 of which still produce hydroelectricity. Now you probably noticed that brown murky color to the water by now. This is not due to mud or pollution, but to the fact northern Wisconsin, this river travels through a series of tamarack tree swamps. Now tamarack tree secretes what's called tannic acid. That's that tannic acid that causes the brown color in the water that you see here today. But it's not harmful for the plant, animal, or man. It's actually found in many products we consume on a daily basis, such as coffee, tea, Coca-Cola, and Pepsi. So it's referred to as caramel coloring on your label. It sounds a little less harsh than consuming tannic acid. Now you'll see a lot of green in the water at this time of year. That's blue-green algae. You'll see it probably at the Witch's Gulch uh, most distinctly. We're stopping at the Witch's Gulch and the, the Rocks. We'll see in the water. The Vulture board, the Red Cloud, was built in 1949. It's 57 feet in length. It weighs about 40 tons. We can carry 105 passengers with this vessel. It takes six feet of water to operate it, and it's powered by two 350 cubic inch General Motors gasoline V8 engines that produce 250 horsepower each. And we get about one mile per gallon of gasoline with this vessel. Ouch. Well, that does it for my little bit of commentary today. I'll hand the mic back to Kayla. Let her do the talking, I'll do the piloting, and you guys enjoy your tour. Thank you. Will you look over at our act today? Now these racks are very rare. They're called hot stamp or Cambrian sandstone. And they're found in only four places in the world. Hot stamp Germany from where they get its name. Zurich, Switzerland. There are some traces in upstate New York, but the biggest deposits are right here in the Wisconsin Dells. And you probably notice it looks as if those trees are growing right out of the rack. Well that's because these racks do have a hard outer shell, but once you get past that, the insides are very soft like a sponge soaking up all that moisture. So those trees can dig their roots up to 40 feet deep. And then if you look along the bottom, you'll probably see a lot of tiny holes. Well, those holes are actually bird's nests. And the birds that make those nests are called slip and bank swallows. Now these slip and bank swallows travel here all the way from Venezuela and are a very welcome sight, seeing as how they eat three times their weight daily in mosquitoes. Well, that'll be why we don't have a single mosquito left in the Dells. <laughs> That's right. They're all married and have kids. <laughs> And then coming up just ahead of our boat are our first two points of interest. Those two cliffs are the jaws or gateway to the upper dells. 
Now the clip on our right is called High Rock. It stands at about 65 feet tall. The clip on our left is called Romance Clip. It's just a bit taller at 75 feet. Now according to legend, the Native Americans would hold wedding ceremonies on top of Romance Cliff. The groom would have to let it pine down and toss it off the top. Now if it stayed lit until it hit the water, they would be granted a long and happy marriage. But if not, the elders would refuse their blessings and they would not be allowed to wed. The jaws also mark the deepest part of the upper dell that's just over 100 feet deep. Now you can go home and tell all your friends and family you were just in four places at once. That's right, four Wisconsin County Juncture right here. Adams, Columbia, Stock, and Juno. Did you know that? If you look just ahead of us to our right, you'll see our next point of interest. That rock that sticks out from the mainland a little bit looks a bit like a stack of pancakes. Well, it's actually called chimney rock, and it is a perfect example of wind, water, and frost erosion. So pretty. And then if you'll continue looking to your right just ahead of the boat, you'll be looking for a man's face. Now the most obvious feature is his nose, then you'll see a slit above it for his eye and a slit below it for his mouth. Then if you want to stretch your imagination, you can pretend those trees coming out the top are his headdress. And then his chief Blackhawk profile. Blackhawk was the leader of the Fox and Sox tribe. And in just a few short minutes, we'll be at the Blackhawk Island. I'm talking a lot. Keep by.